let's talk about The Monster Squad. So this film is about a bunch of kids um, discover that uh, Dracula, Wolfman, uh, the creature of the Black Lagoon, a mummy, and Frankenstein have conveniently congregated around their small town and they are uh, the monsters are looking for uh, this amulet that every 100 years uh, basically is it comes back from like wherever it's hidden and that's when it can be destroyed by the monsters by the evil and now these kids this group of kids has to uh, band together like the Avengers and stop the, these monsters from destroying this amulet that can entrap them into a, like another dimension and you want to what this movie is really fun I th it's written it's co-written by uh the the writer of lethal weapon which is my favorite film of all time or at least one of them i love lethal weapon and i can definitely tell that, it, that he has some influence on this film with where the kids are written and with just just the way the dialogue feels, I think uh, the the dialogue in this film is very Shane Black. But I do think that this film is quite fun. And while it is a little scary for, like, younger kids, I can't wait until, like, ten years from now when I can show this to my niece. Because I think this is going to be something that she grows up with. At least from ten years from now. Um, because, yeah, this is just, like, a fun little movie that you can show your, like, kids who are, like, in the, like, I think fifth grade maybe. And they'd be, generally speaking, okay. Um, there is some unfortunate, just like, homophobic humor, I think, in this film. And while that doesn't necessarily affect me, I grew up in the early 2000s. But I think it may hurt some sense, uh, some more um, socially inclined uh, possible viewers of this film. But this film is fun. It's just nice 80s fun. And I think if you can get past some of the hasn't aged well elements of this film, I think it's quite enjoyable. And it's fun just to see the classic Universal monster movie monsters, you know, just as they were. Like, they aren't super complex characters. These aren't trying to, these characters aren't being reinvented all that much. But they're just nice to see. And I think the humans, the actual human characters in this film, are being, like, I think, caked with certain layers, you know? They aren't just kids. They are, relatively speaking, smart. Uh, it is kind of fun, the monster test. Like, these kids are just so kind of, like, like douchebaggy that they have, like, a test and they don't really fully know the answers to their test. Like, they're making it up as they go along. Like, it's, they're very believable children in this film, and I think that helps it elevate itself compared to its contemporaries, like Hocus Pocus or Gremlins. Or, not, I, the Goonies, I don't mean to say Gremlins. Hey, we love the Gremlins on this channel. Um, but something like Goonies or Hocus Pocus, where the kids are just a, a little too smart, or a little too dumb to actually survive what's going on. These kids, I think, could survive this, and they do a good job at making you believe that in this heightened reality, a bunch of children could stop these monsters without getting, like, gnawed to death. Um, and, yeah, like, it's nice and fun. Um, a complaint I do have is that it is a little contrived that the monsters just happen to show up in their hometown. You know, like, that, like after that, it's this, like, okay... You know, the extension of disbelief. You can kind of believe the other kind of stupid things that happen in this film. And, uh, yeah. Um, this is a pretty solid release by Kino Lorber. Uh, uh, I haven't watched all the bonus features yet, but from what I have seen, it's quite abundant, and I recommend you check it out. Uh, if you have not seen this film, go, like, check it out. It's pretty good. And, uh, this, I believe, was on sale, I think. So, yeah. And uh, remember, that guy made you special. He loves you very much. I hope you have a very lovely day, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Support local businesses, and God bless.